Hello students, welcome back to your English class. I am Mrs. Jenny Shah and yesterday we did the first chapter from our supplementary reader book, A Pact with the Sun and the name of the chapter was A Tale of Two Birds. Look at this picture. Do you think this picture illustrates the title of the story well? A Tale of Two Birds? Well, your first assignment for today would be to draw an image in your books, just like this with the title in your notebook, a tale of two birds and then an image that will illustrate it. So you're going to draw an illustration for the title of the story. Now let's discuss the question and answers that are behind the textbook. How did the baby birds get separated? The answer for this will be found in the first page of the chapter. A big one day there was a big storm. There was thunder, lightning and rain and the wind blew down many trees, including the tree in which the bird lived. A big heavy branch hit the nest and killed the bird and the strong wind blew the birds away to the other side of the forest. So the question is how did the two baby birds get separated? Now you can concise this and write that one day there was a big storm and lots of trees Blew down, blew down, blew away or fell down, including the tree in which the baby bird's nest was there. The strong wind blew them away to the safety to the other side of the forest. And one of the birds landed near the cave. And another one landed near a Rishi's ashram. Hence, they got separated or thus they got separated. So the answer can be something like that the two baby birds lived with their mother in a nest in a tall and shady tree. One day there was a big storm with thunder, lightning and rain. A big heavy branch hit the nest and killed the mother bird. The strong wind blew the two baby birds away to the other side of the forest and separated them from each other. So you, your, your answer to this should first start with where they lived and then uh, it should cover the storm. And then you talk about the incident which killed the mother and how the baby birds were safe and how they flew, they were blown away to the other side and they got separated. Okay. Next question. Where did each of them find a home? So you can see one of the baby birds came, uh, landed near a cave where a gang of robbers lived. The other baby bird landed outside Arishi's ashram a little distance away and so they both found two different homes yes next question what did the first bird say to the stranger so what does the first bird say this answer you will find on the second page of the chapter that is page number two the first bird saw the stranger that was the king. He called the robbers to come quickly and rob the king of his jewels and his horse. The bird indirectly warned the stranger of the consequences of sitting near the cave. So this answer can sum up what the first bird says to the stranger. Next question is, what did the second bird say to the stranger? 
the second bird welcomed the king to the ashram he requested the stranger to go inside the ashram take some rest and make himself comfortable he further added that the first bird was his brother who had made friends with robbers so he does not talk to him any more and he talks like the robbers all right in both these questions students question number 3 and question number 4 you must refer to the king as stranger and if you want to refer to him as the king you must put in a sentence that says that the king was the stranger okay fifth question how did the rishi explain the different ways in which the birds behaved the king was surprised about the different behavior of the two birds he questioned the rishi and rishi explained that the first bird imitated the same words that he heard from the robbers whereas the second bird repeated the words that he had always heard at the ashram this implies that the different ways of the behavior between the two birds was the result of the company in which they lived next question children is question number 6 which of the following sums up the story best now this i am not going to tell you the answer because i want to see what is your answer so students in your notebooks you will only write this question and the answer the options that sums up stories are a bird in hand is worth two in the bush one is known by the company he keeps and a friend in need is a friend indeed so you will write question number 6 in your notebooks and there is one more question for your students you will write this question a person is known by the company he keeps explain you have to explain this quote this phrase this line in your own words and you will pick evidence from the story to support your answer in your notebook students you have to make a right hand side margin on every page you will write your index column you will fill it up with today's date remember to write your questions in black ink and your answers in blue ink and after every question you must draw a horizontal line to indicate its end leave a line before your question starts so students your work today is number 1 you have to do an illustration of the chapter title in your notebooks then you have to write the question number 6 and you also have to write a small answer in your own words of 6 to 7 lines of how a person is known by the company he keeps okay with the students we've come to end of this class stay home stay safe take care and keep smiling thank you